Morning guys, it's Darren here. Uh, so it's Monday morning and you might remember that two weeks ago to this day I was back in with my trainer and having my body fat measured. I got a bit of a shock because I'd gone up quite significantly. So he sent me a challenge, good old Mick, and said that basically watch what I'm eating, train a little bit harder and see how I get on. So I'm back in the gym this morning, about to go up and meet him and get my uh, measurements taken. The past two weeks have been interesting. I have by no means denied myself, uh, but I have eaten a little bit cleaner. A few desserts in there, a few little drinks, but you know what they say, you've got to live for God's sake. How you doing guys? Mick has just taken 10 point measurements. He puts it into his computer. All very technological. And the result is 11.4%. 11.4! Yeah. Whee! <laughs> so 1.2% down on body fat over 14 days, which is a really good result. That's pretty much at the, this is the exact same weight. So 76.7 kilos the last day, and 14 days ago, 76.3 kilos this today. Because your body fat percentage was down a quite a large amount, but your weight wasn't down at all. What it's shown is that you actually gained back a little bit of muscle over the two weeks, which will probably, you know, make sense with your increase in training efforts and then a small reduction then in your, in your, in your calorie intake. The main thing that you don't want is to be dropping loads of weight and for your body fat to be staying the same. So what you've done is the way we want it, which is for your percent body fat percentage to be coming down and for your weight to be holding. The two places that you probably lost the most were probably just off your, uh, your hip and off the center of your stomach. But, uh, carrot cake. Carrot cake, so yeah. Okay. I lost carrot cake. So yeah. <laughs> a steady reduction in carrot cake has a direct correlation with loss in body fat. It is relative to your uh, your body type, and you definitely have the ability to be below 10%. But this probably does require a much, uh, you know, higher concentration on your nutrition. So it's totally up to the person whether they decide that they want to put in that effort or whether they can be happy at a slightly higher body fat percentage and still afford to have a dessert at the weekend. Thanks, Mick! <laughs>